There's a problem, and the problem is us. We always assume that the problem is someone else. But when it comes to a spiritual problem, when it comes to our spiritual problems, the spiritual problem is always us. We have a real love of self. You just have to just pan the internet, uh, Facebook, and, uh, and you see uh, these things called a selfie, right? I think, the, I think my generation actually has done something. No, I'm kidding. We have come up with a new word. It's called a selfie, right? This is who we are. We like, we like us. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be, listen to this, lovers of their own self. Is that not spot on or what? I was just going to tell you, this is an epidemic in our society. There are people who have this idea that, that we don't think highly enough of ourselves. We call it a, a, a low self-esteem. If we have a self-esteem issue, it's too high a self-esteem. That's the problem. How can we pursue the love of God when we are lovers of our own self? See, you can't have it both ways. There's absolutely no way to love yourself and to love God at the same time. The love of self keeps us from loving God the way that we should. And when we begin to see God for who He is, we will begin to see us for who we are. We must recognize that He is the one who, who should be absorbing all of our love. Love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, mind, soul, strength. The problem is, is that we have a love for self, and right here in 2 Timothy 3, 2, for men shall be lovers of their own selves. That's the problem. That's a problem that needs to be solved.